your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So, did you guys see this guy, Curtis Schoon, is coming out saying that 50 Cent has stole his concept of power? And you know what? He actually went through and broke down from the beginning of when he started shopping that power show to how it got into the hands of 50 Cent and when he realized that he stole the shit, man. And honestly, how he broke it down via Twitter, it actually sounds reasonable that he actually did do that. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on this one, man, because it definitely sounds like something that actually may have happened. Happen. But anyway, on to today's reply. And today's reply is to that Tory Lanez, Diego. And you know what? This track here is I, much like the song The Godfather that he did. In which that song I wasn't that high on either, you did. So you can definitely draw comparisons as far as flow, as far as styles that he's using on both men. But overall, they weren't that damn good. And that's fucked up thing that's killing me right now, man. It's been a while since I've heard a damn great song from Tory Lanez, man, even spanning back to the last couple mixtapes that he dropped. See, there was a time where I was like, Tory Lanez, this guy's gonna be next. He's that damn dope artist. He could definitely succeed in this game. But then he got to this point that a lot of other artists do, man. You realize, okay, I'm not shining as much as I should, but yet all these other artists that take on the styles of what's already in the game, man, these people tend to climb fast so therefore I seen him making that adjustment to more commercialized sounds and such and real shit that takes away from the quality of artists that Tory Lanez is but from what I've been reading though man he has been eating a lot for ghostwriting and such man so that's always a plus thing but his original songs man they definitely could be a lot strong because he got superstar written all over him man he's just not becoming that yet but anyway this is a song I definitely recommend people to go ahead and peep on out man Man, but it's not much more than that. But anyway, on to today's article from downloadpads.com. And today's article is about how idiots try to make it seem like you the idiot. You did. Like, this is the defense that all of these people use against you. Through my own experiences, man, dudes who never had a plan to succeed in the music industry, that never knew what the fuck they was doing. They always try to blame someone else for their fucking failures, instead of them just figuring out as they go along, you did. And you gotta be real stupid to think that you can just hop into any industry, not know what the fuck that industry's all about, and think that you just gonna instantly succeed just because type shit. But yet, when their plans prove to be as flawed as they actually are, then they start trying to point the blame at people like, oh, you didn't produce the songs like I told you you need to produce it. You cost me a career type shit. This is how idiots think, man, and this is why you should never get caught up in that bullshit. Once you realize somebody isn't like on that mental level that they really need to be to succeed or to help you succeed, man, then it's time to let them motherfuckers go. It doesn't matter what relation they are to you. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article. 